it sounds almost as if you're talking about trying to modify the public's behavior. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's using the force of law to tell you how to live, where to live, what style house to live in, and what kind of transportation you're going to use to get around an urban area. And uh, so it is, a, it is a, a, a using the physical layout of a community to modify the behavior of the citizens. Planners should be doing exactly the opposite. Explain Pla- that. Planners should be saying, the people of this community want X, Y, and Z. Uh, national polls show that people want to live in single-family housing. Uh, the, and so they should be saying, okay, how do we arrange the infrastructure so that people can have their desires, uh, single-family housing and use of the automobile for the, uh, greater flexibility, rather than trying to force people to live in a lifestyle that is actually uh, reactionary. It goes back to the 19th century, where the cities uh, were dominated by tenements, uh, where people lived in crowded conditions. People used streetcars and buses to get around the urban area. And the reason for that was they were poor. If you look at the income levels of the people that lived in cities around 1900, 1920, uh, they were poor. They didn't have the affluence of and the luxury of having an automobile. Now the poor and the middle class in this country have that affluence that only the rich had back then. Why shouldn't they be able to enjoy a lifestyle that they choose for themselves?